空を彩る七色の夢、ずっとこのまま見ていたかった。昨日を待って輝いてたキラ星でさえも。I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. 色褪せてく。YouTube, this is Uncle Momo's music reaction channel, where I provide my views on talented artists from around the world, both established artists and non-established artists. And I promise you that you won't be disappointed whatsoever. So why don't you come and join me in discovering amazing, talented artists and bringing it to the forefront of my channel for us to view? Now, my next reaction, unexpectedly as well, because I did not have any kind of warning whatsoever. Baby Metal being on the first take. I love the first take. I love Baby Metal. Put that together. We have brilliance. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on right now. So I went over to the station and I got into the description. And guess what? In the description page of Baby Metal doing the monochrome, it still has. It's got somehow. It's got the Stray Kids information in the description page. So maybe this was a, so much of a rush job, right? That they didn't put. They forgot to put the description. Of baby metal, it still says episode two hundred ninety eight rather than two hundred and ninety nine. This description shouldn't be in. It says the first take baby metal monochrome, and then it says episode two hundred ninety eight welcomes back stray kids. Check it out for yourself. So. This is baby metal monochrome. If you don't know the the, the roots of this particular song, it's a very very heart、um, felt song from a song regarding、uh, hometown.、Um, and if you don't know the storyline about the unfortunate events、um, and the when the actual impact hits、um, in a village town and surrounding areas, what was told is that all they saw was the、uh, monochrome. So like a black and white kind of you 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 know what monochrome is, and there was a, a number of surviving things, but in one particular there was this tree、um, that survived, and this tree is、um, is I think is Algeri、um, Algeri. Let me let me see Algeri、um, Algeri tree something like that. And、um, I said it was one of the survivors of the tree、uh, of that. A number of small little things,、um, and. There was a, a number of things that surrounded on that. I don't know the full story, and I'm not going to stand here sitting down here like I'm educated, you know, enough to tell you guys. I don't know, or I can give you breadcrumbs, but you guys have to either tell me or do some due do, do, do diligence and find out as well. I mean, I have reacted to this song on from the Baby Metals channel, and I had a number of subscribers that have explained this to me, so I can read some out if you like.、Um, Let's、we'll、see.、Um, the Aguri tree was one of the survivors in the tree in the in the Hiroshima,、um, and the monochrome fireworks all together, among with the more reference as a metaphor. Once you know where the lead singer was born, as I was saying before,、um, it all makes sense.、Um, but instead of endorsing negativity, she gives us hope that if a war or any other sad moments like this recent pandemic is happening nowadays, colours will be back. Now this is from. Baby metal fans, with so much positivity that shines from them, is just so unreal. It really is. They remind me of the care the Care Bears. Do you remember the Care Bears? I know that's pulling that one out the bag. I know, but they remind me of the Care Bears that they have this special power of bringing positivity into the world. I that sounds silly, but until you see them, then you understand what I'm talking about. Look, if you haven't done already, please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the notification button to indicate to you when my next uploads will be. Now, without further ado, you know what we're here for: great vocabs and a damn good video of Jay Music. Can you dig it? The piano version. Do we get to see who plays the piano? I、oh, said,、so、there's no diff, there's no subtitles, so I think this is an unexpected moment. Even though there was a premiere, I think this is still unexpected. Come on, girls, 
空を彩る七色の夢。ずっとこのまま見ていたかった。昨日を待って輝いてたキラ星でさえも。I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. 色。I'm gonna pause it right there, right there. From the beginning, it captivated you with the piano part, and then there starts on the microphone. As you know, majority of of the artists that go onto the first take, they do this warm up thing. But there's only a handful of artists, including Hollow Live artists. I'm gonna include them as well. That 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 doesn't actually do the warm up. Them is like they meditate towards the microphone or something. This is very, very personal and up close and open. I mean, where I've, you know, I have reacted to the song before, and I have reacted to many baby metals live on stage, but there's nothing more closer than what I'm experiencing right now, and it's pure. I mean, we all know that she's a great singer, but behind, and she, you know, she has to be an absolutely amazing singer with all the live. You know, look, electric guitar, drums. You know the sounds that quality that she's fighting against when she's singing live. You know, so she's got to, you know, be at a game. There's some powerful instruments beyond、um, behind her backing her up. So that now it's just her.、Uh, I mean, it's now it's just them and a piano. So it's really, really personal. And do you know what? I, I, there's a lot of volume in this. You expect, you know, certain things to be diluted, but no, it's it's even more. It's gained. I feel more closer to her in her, for her singing this song, to, to them both. Sorry. Do you understand what I'm talking about here? I'm gonna go back just a little bit, like like that, to about say, to about say here. Oops. She's feeling it. Look. Officially, this has got so much substance behind it, and that's where you can see the facial expressions when you're singing, when you're seeing her. Wow, what's going on here? No, seriously, what's going on here? There. Some kind of 
quiver in her voice or anything, but she's been professional from beginning to end. And if you look at all the other artists that's been on the first take, don't worry, they have done that, they're all and everything, but there's something different about this particular performance. Tell I've seen from the rest. So that was the first take, the channel, the artist, Baby Metal, brilliant. Now, like I said, I have reacted to Monochrome before and I was overwhelmed with the information that was behind the actual song. And it has such an impact now when you hear it again after you know the history, the historic value behind the song. I just thought that there would be some information in the description page but if someone can tell the first take that you've put the Stray Kids details in the description page of Baby Metal instead of the Baby Metal details, maybe they already find out by now. But the fun is, so, okay, from what I'm seeing here is that it's a bit of a mixture. So they've got the Baby Metal um, social details and everything else. It just comes from the description page of um, episode, yeah, from episode 298. So that just needs to be changed. Uh, and that's it. Brilliant performance. There was so much gain from there. It was so much personal. I said it before. And there was so much volume. There was so much depth in the vocals. You know when... And I said this so, so many times. When you hear... There's a, much, there's a difference between an artist having a live performance. You know, what Baby Metal does. Day in, day out. With the massive concerts. And the artist going to studio and recording when you've got the producer putting certain effects on your voices, putting reverb certain on your voices, packing it up, ready to sell, going to the mass market, the manufacturers to churn it out or Spotify or whatever. Those different kind, those are different kind of qualities of vocals and sound. What you heard there was studio quality. Sometimes the producer puts so much depth and, and I know effects on the studio quality when they actually when the artists actually sing it live. There's so much difference. It's almost a letdown. It's almost like it's weak. What you saw there was no different. It was a consistency. That was just amazing. I, I, they were, don't, I'm not saying it was the microphone was microphone was absolutely quality and that made her vocal sound. Even, no, no, that was totally her, them. And I said it before. If once you've been once you've got like these heavy instruments backing you. When you're doing live performances, you you, you are, your vocals are of a different strength, like like heavy metal vo vo vocals. They're of a different strength. It seriously is. There's there's a different game. I don't know what kind of in what how they use their muscles in the rhythm, their larynx. I have no idea, but it's a different kind of strength. And that was an execution of that. I've seen many many artists on the first take. And you can quite clearly question, even though they're brilliant on the first take doing the live performances, you can certainly question when you hear their music on Spotify or on a CD, when you hear the quality, you see that that's when the producers put their magic touch into it. That's what I'm saying. Not this one. And it was heartfelt as well because of the storyline. It really was. Everything there was just like, that said, Terry I. For that reason, I salute you. Boom.